Hey planner friends, it's Ashley. Today I'm going to show you my entire process of how I plan out my social media from YouTube, Instagram, my filming editing schedule, and I'm gonna walk you through all of it, including what app I use to help me plan out my Instagram feed, how I use that app. Um, the only thing I'm not gonna show in this video is how I take photos and how I edit those. If that is something that you guys wanna see, I will be more than happy to make a separate video talking you through um, how I set up my photos, how I take them, how I edit those photos and stuff. So just let me know down in the comments if that's something that you want to see and I will be happy to make that video. But first, before we dive in, you guys, I am so excited. Um, so I used to use the sheets, the social media sheets from the Happy Planner, but I used them all and I ran out and I was using them to pre-plan out my social media. Well, after I ran out of them, I realized that I needed something to help me pre-plan out social media and I couldn't find any more of those sheets. They have been sold out. So I decided to create my own sheet and I have it as a free printable down below in the description box for you. You can print it out for a classic, a big, and a mini happy planner. So um, quickly, let me just show you what it'll look like whenever you print it. You can print it on regular printer paper. You don't have to format anything. Shout out to Rochelle um, from Plans by Rochelle. She helped me with this process, so I'm really thankful for that. But all you do is you print it and then you'll cut along the um, edges here. The lines are already there, so you just cut those. There's room for you to punch it, punch it and stick it inside of your planner. So make sure you download those down below in the description box. Print off as many as you need. And I'm gonna walk you through what each section is for and how I use these sheets. So up here at the top, it says the plan. Now, initially I was gonna write out the social or social media plan, but I decided not to because these sheets will be great for pre-planning for other areas of my life as well. And you can use them for any area of your life, not just social media. So I just left it where it says the plan. Now there are three different sections here and these are all labeled Monday through Sunday and there are title boxes to them. Now for me, the way that I am going to use those this first section up here is going to be for YouTube. This section here is going to be for Instagram. And this section here is going to be for my schedule. Now, I'm not worried about this being cute, but you totally can. You can add stickers to it if you want, decorate it or you can just keep it functional. That's entirely up to you. But it is Monday through Sunday and you can date this here if you want to. I'm not going to because I know what week I'm working towards and I actually don't keep these sheets after I transfer everything from the pre-planning sheet into my social media planner, which I'll show you that here shortly. But they are Monday through Sunday. You can totally date them if you want to. Now, the way that I use this is I will use the YouTube section to note what videos are gonna be posted on what day during the week. Instagram, this is where I will plan out my Instagram feed. My schedule, this is where I'm going to plan out my filming and editing schedule for the week, when I need to take photos and all of that stuff will go there. This first block over here, this is for photos to take. So these are pictures that I'm gonna to take today for my Instagram. Over here, this section is going to be for photos that I need to take if I need to take some later on in the week. And this block is smaller than this one because usually towards the end of the week, I'm not taking as many photos. I'm not making a bunch of graphics. This will be like my after the pin spreads that I post on Instagram. So I did make this block smaller. I'm not gonna title it yet because I will title it with whatever day I plan on taking those photos and then I'll list out the photos I'm gonna take. Now on the back of this, it is totally blank. You can do whatever you want to. I decided to leave it blank though because when I was using the uh, planning sheets from the Happy Planner, this uh, social media planning sheets, I was constantly flipping back and forth and it was kind of annoying if I'm being honest. I know it's just a little thing, but I wanted everything to just be on the front. That way, once I decided like, here's what's gonna be posted on Instagram, I need to take a photo for that, I can instantly write it down here and I don't have to flip the page over, write it, flip the page back over. And I know it's just something simple, but I decided to keep everything on the front. You can totally decorate this and use the back of this for whatever you want. But again, they are linked down below in the description box. They are free, so go download them. They are size for a classic, mini, and a big. Just choose whichever one that you need, download them, and print them out. All right, let's go ahead and dive into my entire process of how I plan out social media. So the first thing that I'm going to do is we're gonna look at my planner. This is my Franken planner. I have 
my goals section in here, I have my hourly planner, my personal planner, and then we're gonna flip open to my business planner. This is where I plan out social media. So the first thing that I'm going to do is write out what YouTube videos I have that are gonna be posted during the week. And I can do that by looking at the monthly section inside of this planner. Now, I have a video up showing you how I did all of this, but in a nutshell, I have this entire brainstorm list here of all the different videos I wanna to post to YouTube. And I just pulled from this list and planned them out for the month. So I already know what videos are gonna be posted. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is write those videos out. Okay, this coming Tuesday, that's when this video here is gonna post. So I'm gonna write out how I plan social media on Thursday is going to be a video about how to use and decorate the dashboard. How to use and decorate dashboard. I'm going to put HP. HP means happy planner. And then on Sunday, um, which is will be the 10th, I have a plan with me video. And this is going to be a plan with me social media. So I will write out PWM, which means plan with me, and I'm gonna put social media. And I'm gonna write the dates for when that's for, and it's gonna be for the 11th through the 17th is when I'm planning in there. So if I look here at January, this one's gonna be coming up soon, but it's gonna be from the 11th through the 17th, and this is the week that I'll be filming that video. So we're gonna go back here, and I already have those laid out. Now when it comes to Instagram, that one's a little bit trickier and I'm gonna show you what app I use, how I plan out my feed and stuff. I'll do all that in just a minute, but first let's start with my schedule. My schedule, what I'm trying to do is get a week ahead on YouTube videos because before I was actually posting them the day I was, like I was filming them, editing them, and getting them posted. That's how behind I was. Or I wouldn't even post them at all because I didn't get them filmed, like it was just a mess. And so I'm working really hard to get myself at least a week ahead on YouTube videos. So if something comes up, it's not a major stress for me. So for my schedule, I'm actually, what I'm gonna be filming and editing is actually going to be from the uh, week of the 11th through the 17th. So I'll be filming those things during this week and editing them this week and then they'll post this week. So here, the first one is going to be for the 12th is when it's supposed to post, is a plan as I go video. This is gonna be me showing you how I use my planners throughout the day and when I hop in and what I'm writing down and all of that stuff. So that's gonna post on Tuesday the 12th. And I think the way I'm gonna do it is I think Tuesday and Thursday, I'm gonna make those my filming days. Let me see something really quickly. This is for next week in my catch-all and this tells me our schedule. So I'm looking here, I know that Monday is a really busy day. I know that sa uh, Saturday my husband has a board meeting. Thursday, see Thursday I'm gonna be food prepping so that might not be a good idea because I need to film. Okay, so let's do it this way. The plan as I go, I can film that on Tuesday because I don't have a ton going on on Tuesday. So we're going to put film plan as I go on Wednesday. I'm going to be meal planning, ordering groceries, my son's homework. So Wednesday I can film this one. This is how to decorate either the horizontal or vertical. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna do yet, so that's why it's either one, but I have that wrote in there and I'll choose whenever it's time to film. I'll just pick out which one I wanna um, teach you guys how to decorate and how to use it. And then I think on because I don't want to film on Thursday. On Friday, I can uh, film the other video, which will be a boho or bujo plan with me. And that'll be on Friday.
And now that I know my filming schedule, I need to figure out my editing schedule when I'm going to edit these videos. Um, so I think that on Thursday, I can edit plan as I go and I can edit both of those. Editing doesn't, well, editing does take a lot longer. I think I can edit both of those on Thursday and decorate. I'm just going to put decorate planner. I, I know what I'm talking about there. And then on Friday, I think on Friday, I'm going to go ahead film and we're going to make this film and edit that video. That way that's done. My weekends used to be cram packed with filming and editing and trying to set up all my planners and trying to pre-plan and cleaning the house and getting ready for the weekend. It was just a stressful weekend and I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm trying to leave my weekends to where I'm not filming a ton and editing a ton on the weekends. So that's going to be my filming and editing schedule. Let's go ahead and dive into my Instagram and how I plan this out. So when I plan out my social media, I use an app called Plan That, and I love this app. It is an app that helps you plan out your Instagram feed. It also sends you reminders to post. It will not post for you. Actually, I don't think there's any app out there that'll actually post to Instagram for you that's not allowed, but it does send me a reminder that it's time to post. And I also use it to figure out what photos I'm going to post on what day and if there's photos I need to take, if there's graphics I need to make and stuff like that. So, but normally I use this app on my phone, but since I am filming on my phone, I'm going to show you a screen recording of my laptop and I'll show you how I use it there. The cool thing is, is that if you want to use it on your computer, you can, if you want to use it on your phone, you can, options are there for that. So let's go ahead and grab my laptop and I will show you how I plan out what photos that I'm going to post on what day for Instagram. Okay, so this photo right here that says, but first coffee, I've already posted that one and I know that I posted it because there's this little Instagram icon right up here in the corner. This photo is going to be posted today. And then the way that my grid has been working, I kind of alternate between a planner spread and then what I like to consider as a graphic. Now it doesn't have to be a graphic. A graphic sometimes is something like this where I actually create a graphic and I post it. Um, sometimes they're like this one, that's an actual graphic. But a graphic for me could also mean my planning space, which is like this photo right here. Or it can be this photo where it's like a planner stack. Um, here's another graphic that I have. And I really like plan because it'll show you your feed and you can see what it is that you need to be posting next. So I really love this app, it's awesome. Um, this photo here, I'm actually not gonna post, so we're gonna delete that one. Okay, so the next photo, once this one posts, is going to be a graphic, and that's going to be for Monday. So for Monday, I'm going to do graphic. Now, I'm also going to post a planner spread on Monday. And really quickly, I know in my head what planners I have, what before the pin photos I'm going to take, but if it's something that stresses you out, here's what I used to do. I used to take a sticky note and I would write out all of the different photos I had the option of taking. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna take the photos and post them, but it's my option. So I can do a before the pen, which is BTP, before the pen dashboard, before the pen catch all. I can do after the pen of both of those, after the pen dashboard and catch all. I can do after the pin in my fitness planner, before the pin in my fitness planner. I can do after the pin, well, if I could write it down right, after the pin in my hourly. I can do a before the pin in my hourly. And I used to do this until I got myself into a routine with knowing what photos I could take. I could also take a photo of after the pin calligraphy. I can take a desk photo. I can take a picture of me. 
I can take a photo of my meal plan. Like literally the options here are endless, but if you need to brainstorm out all of the different photos that you can take, you absolutely can do that. And you can totally do that on the back of the sheet if you want to. You could use that section down here. Maybe this will be your brainstorm section. And this section over here is the photos that you're actually gonna take. So that's just an option if it, if it kind of stresses you out and you're not for sure what photos you're gonna take, you can always brainstorm it out. But for Monday, I wanna post an after the pin photo. But first, let's take a look. This one here for YouTube, YouTube dictates a lot too on how I post to Instagram. So how I plan out social media, I'm going to write down pre-planning sheets. So I'm gonna write that out and I'm gonna post a photo that has my pre-planning sheets in them. So um, pre-planning sheets, on Thursday, it's how to decorate the dashboard planner. So we're gonna do a before the pin dashboard. Now I post multiple times a day, but you do not have to. Do not feel like that you need to keep up with that. Also, I try to alternate, like I showed you on the plan here on the computer, I try to alternate whether I'm taking a planner, whether it's a planner photo or if it's like a graphic of some sort or like my desk or me or something, you don't have to do that. If you wanna keep this super simple and just post planner photos, you 100% can. I used to do that and it was really easy. First, I would start with um, what videos were going up on YouTube and that was what I would post. And then the rest of the day, I would just take like all of these and scatter them out throughout the rest of the day depending upon what I wanted to post. Okay, so for Thursday, I will do a before the pin dashboard for this video. On Sunday will be a before the pin social. That's gonna be from the 11th through the 17th. And now from there, this is whenever I will start taking like all of these photo ideas and I will just start kind of playing with them. So I know that uh, Monday is gonna be a graphic and let's do after the pin catch all. Let's do a after the pin dashboard. And that's which layout. And by catch all, it is my lined vertical layout. So I will post a picture of this, which is an after the pin. And then for dashboard, it'll be an after the pin of this spread right here. Fitness, same thing, whether it's before I write anything down, which is a before the pin, or after I write all my stuff down, the week is finished, that's an after the pin photo. Um, so that'll be after the pin catch all, after the pin dashboard. Wednesday, we will do, actually, hold on a minute, that's not gonna work. See, Tuesday I have two planner photos, which is not gonna keep my grid the way that I want it. So we are actually gonna take some white out and I'm gonna white this out. And then we're gonna put after the pin dashboard over here. Here, I'm just gonna write the word graphic. I will decide what photos are gonna go in there. If I'm gonna actually make graphics, if I'm gonna take pictures of my office or anything like that, like lifestyle photos, I will decide later on what those are gonna be. It really just kind of depends too on what I'm feeling, what I wanna talk about for the week. So we'll have after the pin dashboard and a graphic, before the pin dashboard and a graphic. We'll go ahead and write graphic because I know that I'm gonna be posting those. This one we are going to post, and as a reminder, the graphic could be my meal plan. It could be, maybe it's my calligraphy planner and I wanna show a lifestyle photo of me using the calligraphy planner. So it's not just like, a photo of my planner laying out on my desk. It'll be like me actually using the planner. It'll be a picture of me in my office, just different things like that. So I can go ahead and write graphic for the rest of the week here. And I can turn graphics into planner spreads. So let's say I wanna do an after the pen of my hourly planner, which is this planner here. I can totally turn this into a photo where it's like a lifestyle photo. And that's kind of what those are. And I guess I probably could write lifestyle instead of graphic. I don't know, I wrote graphic down for a long time and I just know what it means. So that's why I write that. But it could be, I could turn that graphic into one of these planner photos. So I'm showing more of those and more of a lifestyle of how I'm actually using them. Like setting, maybe it's a photo of me setting in the living room on my couch in my planner. That would be like a lifestyle photo. Okay, so for Friday, let's post, I have my um, after the pin, 
catch-all, pre-planning, after the pin dashboard. Before the pin dashboard, we can do, this will be before the pin, 11th through the 17th. I will do a before the pin catch-all, which will be from, I got my planner over here. I'm just looking at what the days of the week are. It'll be from the 4th through the 10th. And if you need to write down the dates, you can. Um, I just didn't want to get this one mixed up with this one, so I knew which one was which, which that one's for social, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, and then Saturday, we will do a graphic, and um, let's do Thursday. We will make that one. Calligraphy. Friday, it'll be my desk. Saturday will be an actual graphic. Sunday, we are going to do before the pen hourly. Okay, so there's my entire plan. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop off here. I am going to take photos. Actually, wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. We have to write down what photos we're gonna take, right? So let's go through. Um, let's say that I need my after the pen catch-all. I need pre-planning sheets. Hey there, it's voiceover Ashley. I decided to speed this process up because all I'm doing is writing out what photos I need to take for the week. Now, I did decide to retitle the box on the right. Instead of writing out what photos I needed to take towards the end of the week, I wrote out what graphics I need to make. And I know that when I say graphics, that may get a little bit confusing, but that's just how it works in my head and I've called it graphics for so long that for me it just makes sense. So I hope that I have explained this process to you in a way that you understand and that it makes sense and it's not confusing. But listen, if it's ever confusing, reach out, ask questions. I am more than happy to help. But I will say that is one reason why I love these sheets because you can retitle these for anything, which is awesome because... Sometimes our needs change week by week, right? And we need different things. So I love that you can retitle these. Please, please, please go download them. They are free. They are yours to use. Utilize them not only for social media, but for pre-planning your week in general. I think that they will come in handy. They definitely will come in handy for me. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take photos, take these different photos, make the graphics, get all of that stuff set up and ready to go. And then we will hop back onto my laptop and I will show you how I um, get all these photos ready on the plan app, how I work them around, schedule them, and all of that information. So I'm going to go take photos. Again, if you want to see how I actually take the photos, how I edit them, let me know down in the comment section. Okay, so I've got my photos taken. There are some photos and some graphics that I've not finished, and I will finish those later on the week. So what I did is I took a Sharpie S note and I highlighted those ones. Um, that way I know that I need to finish those. The graphics and taking photos of me and the hourly planner I will do later this evening because I need to finish those ones before I can take photos of them. I was gonna get them finished and then show you guys, but this is just real life. This is what happens. Uh, I need to get this video finished filming. I need to meal prep today. That's a big priority of mine is making sure I'm setting myself up for success nutrition wise for the week. So I need to meal prep. And then this evening I will sit down and finish those things and take photos of them. But we can still move on. You don't have to have all of your photos to do this process that I am. I did just go ahead and highlight them so I know later this evening what I need to do. Now I did have to change something. Up here I had wrote before the pen catch all and I wrote it down for the 4th through the 10th, but I was wrong on that like I thought I was. Uh, so I did change that one to my after the pen fitness spread. And I also changed it down here to where um, it says after the pen fitness. So I did mess that one up. I did go back and correct it. So I got that fixed. But now what I have done is I've taken all of the photos that I took pictures of and I airdropped them to my laptop. Now normally I don't do this because like I said, I use it on my the um, plan app. I use that on my phone. So I don't have to airdrop them to the laptop, but I did it this time so I can actually show you this entire process. So let's take a look at my laptop and I'll show you how I use plan to plan out my Instagram feed. Okay, so when we look on here, if you remember from earlier when I showed you this, this photo here that says, but first coffee, it was all the way up here at the top, I think. Might've been like one of these two photos. 
but it's down here now because I've uploaded six sets of photos and I'm going to show you how I upload those. So if you look at plan um, over here in this section, you're going to click this little plus button. This comes up. Now I'm going to pull my photos up. These are where I air dropped them and I'm going to grab this one and we're going to upload that one. So we're going to drop it into there. And then once you drop it in there, make sure you hit save as draft. I'm not scheduling this or anything yet. I'm just saving it as a draft. That way it'll pull it over here into the feed. And then we are going to do this again. So hit the add button. And then these two photos are photos that go together. So you can actually add both of those at the same time. So I'll drop those in. And then we're going to hit save as draft. And then from there, what I'm going to do, um, you can see all of those photos are uploaded. Now, if I would have finished the graphics and the hourly and those kind of things, those would be on there as well. But because they're not, I'm going to go ahead and schedule a couple of posts for Monday and for Tuesday. Now, here's something really, really cool. If you look here on plan, if I go up here to strategy, strategy under here, you can create these um, well strategies so you know what you're posting each day and I've already went through and I've changed the colors and the titles of all of these so you can see I have one that says catch-all one that says graphic one that says squad me educate and add value my dashboard planner my fitness planner a picture of my office if I'm doing a reel and so I went through and I've added all of those things and what you can actually do let me delete these two from here now I'm doing this based off of this sheet here, right? So knowing what I'm posting, I need a graphic that's gonna be for Monday. So we're gonna click graphic, that's gonna add it here. I know that I already have my after the pen catch all planner photo taken because it's, I checked it off down here. My pre-planning sheets are next. I need a graphic of me. So then I'm gonna click me um, after the pen dashboard. I need another graphic, which is going to be my hourly planner. I'm just going to put graphic there. And then I have my calligraphy. I have before the pen dashboard. I need my desk, which I have a photo of that right here. I need another regular graphic. I have my meal plan and I'm going to do a before the pen dashboard planner and then a before the pen hourly, which actually I have not added that to there. So let's actually add that one. We're just going to put hourly here and I don't really like that color. Let's find a color we like. You can play with this if you want. <laughs> Turn it whatever color you want it to be. I like more of the blue colors. That one looks cool. So we'll do that one and then we'll add that to there. Now I'm gonna click add all to the grid. Now it's all on the grid. And so from here, I can start to grab a hold of these things and reorganize them to where I need them to be. So for Monday, looking at this sheet, I need a graphic and an after the pin catch all. And so the last photo that I'm gonna post, which is this one, this is gonna be posted today. I have not posted it yet, but that'll be today. So then I need a graphic. So I'm gonna grab a hold of this graphic and we are gonna pull it down here to right there. So then I know I have my graphic. I need my after the pen catch all, which is here. I already have it there, it's in the right spot. That just happened that way, um, but it's already there after the pen catch all. And then I have, we're gonna do another graphic of me. So remember this one, me educational. And sometimes when you grab a hold of these, they don't wanna move on the computer, but they move a lot easier on your phone. But this one will go here. And then I will have my pre-planning sheets and those are already there. And then we're going to do a graphic of my hourly planner, which will go here. Well, maybe it'll go there. Come on. Okay. So there's the hourly planner. And then, um, it's going to be my after the pen dashboard, which is already here. And then we're going to do a, um, graphic. It says calligraphy. Now I actually took this photo. And that's gonna slightly mess up my grid just a little bit, but I'm not worried about it because I wanna show this photo anyways. And then it's gonna be a photo of my desk. And what I mean by mess up my grid, let me move this, hold on. Or wait a minute, do I have those backwards? Okay, hold on a minute. We have after the pen dashboard, 
my hourly planner, so that one's done. Then it needs to be, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to swap the calligraphy and the desk photo. And then I may have to add another graphic, but that's okay. So for here on the sheet, what I will do is add a little arrow and just write swap. Now I know these boxes, they're small and it might seem like you don't have enough room to write, but they always work out for me. If you need to, you can print it off for the big size happy planner and then just use it that way. I don't ever keep these. I just like print them off for the classic so I can already punch them, have them in the back of my planner so each week I don't have to reprint them. But you can totally print them off as a big and have more space within the boxes. For me, it doesn't really bother me. This works out fantastic. Okay, so I swapped those two photos and then we have after the pin fitness, which is what is next. And then that's gonna go there. And then it's going to be a regular graphic. See these, have, I've messed these up somehow. Then it's going to be my meal plan, which will go here. My before the pin social, actually see these need to be swapped. So before the pin social, it'll be the graphic, which is the before the pin hourly. And then, um, which I have it right here, graphic before the pin hourly. And then it'll be my before the pin social, and then it's going to be another graphic. Now these two here, and it's because the way I took this calligraphy photo, if this would have been more, I don't, I don't even know if y'all can tell, but do you see how like these three photos here, the but first coffee, me at the desk, and the giveaway, do you see how they look different than like those three photos? Or like these three photos look different than those three. I know I'm just moving the mouse around like crazy, aren't I? <laughs> but that's what I'm trying to accomplish. And so that calligraphy photo where it's not, and I may retake that is probably what I'm going to do. I will probably end up retaking this photo so it looks more I don't know, maybe I'll take a picture of me sitting at the desk actually using the planner and I'll have my husband take that photo for me. So that's, we're going to, um, where's my highlighter? I'm gonna highlight that one cause I'm gonna retake it. Cause I don't like it, it's messing up my grid. And that's just what happens. So we'll just highlight it and I know that I need to take that calligraphy photo. And so tonight whenever I actually use that calligraphy planner, I'll just have my husband snap a photo and I will upload it here and it'll go there. Okay, so now that I have my grid planned out for the week, minus the things like that go inside of these blocks, I will go and click on, like let's say this one. This one's going to be posted today. You can go down through here and you can schedule this. And the more that you use plan, the more that it'll give you some like analytics. So your best time to post, it'll tell me when the best times to post are. It'll tell me whenever my audience is most online. So then I can uh, know when's a good time to post that you guys are gonna actually see it and it's not gonna be missed. So you, I will go through and I will schedule all of these out. I'm not gonna sit down and show you that entire process. It's literally just scheduling it out. But you can go ahead and craft your message and you can write out what you want to for the entire week. And that's one thing that I love to do, especially having this done in advance because there are days that I'm stressed out, I'm overwhelmed, or I, I don't even know what to talk about or we're on the go and I'm like, I don't even know what to say and how do I put this or whatever. So that helps me plan what I'm gonna tell you guys. And I actually already had some ideas coming up. So like this one, for example, which is the photo we're on, this one I would write something because this is going to be a YouTube video that's up today, which it's not coming up till later, but uh, I would point to my YouTube video, right? So I would say something to where I'm pointing to my YouTube video. We're gonna keep that as a draft. This one, I can go in there if I wanted to, if I wasn't sure what that graphic was supposed to be and I can literally like write, make a regular graphic. If you need to use it that way, you can. But this one, this was an after the pen in my catch all. This one, um, maybe I'll talk about using the lined vertical layout. And then I can just save that as a draft. So then that, if anything, that'll at least give me some direction. But there are times that I will sit down and I will fully write out what it is that I wanna to post to you guys. And normally I do this on my phone because I love using emojis. That's the only downside really to using it on the computer is that I don't have, I don't have all my emojis on here and I love sharing emojis with you guys. So that, 
Um, that's a downside, but that's okay. You can actually craft your entire message out. And I will do that sometimes. And it is faster too whenever you do it on the computer though, so that's a plus. You can always type it up on the computer, go back in on your phone and add emojis if you are like me and you like to use a lot of emojis. But that is how I use plan. And then once you set a time that it's gonna post, like let's say we're gonna post it there and I'll hit schedule, it will not automatically post it. I just wanna say that again. It will send you a reminder that it's time to post, but it will not automatically post. Something else I wanna show you really quickly is that on plan, but you can't really see it, but up here at the top it says hashtags. We can discard that. I already have hashtags set. You can see here I have 22 sets of hashtags. So when I post my dashboard planner, I copy these and I paste them in the comments of my post. When I post my fitness planner, I already have hashtags already set out. And what I did is I went through, I took some time, I laid out the different categories that I needed hashtags for, and I curated hashtags that were specific to that post. So if I'm posting my horizontal spread, I have hashtags ready to go for it. And I never put the full 30, I like to leave a little bit of space. So if there's something that I'm thinking of that matches that uh, photo that I took, I have some room to add some more hashtag, hashtags to it. But this is where all my hashtags are at. I used to keep them on the notes app of my phone and it was a little bit stressful. This is so much easier. So once I post from plan, I hop back in plan, I copy the hashtags, I paste them into uh, Instagram on the post. So I just want to share that with you guys. This is another reason why I love this. Now, if you, I actually pay for plan. They do have a free option and this is not sponsored by them, but they do have a free option that you can use. I just don't know how many sets of hashtags you can have for the free plan and I also think with the free plan you can only post 30 times in a month and where I'm posting twice a day I, I needed the uh, plan that you have to pay for and I, I don't even know how much it is like 12 bucks a month maybe or 10 I'm not for sure don't quote me on that but um, I do pay for it and it is 110% worth it for me to use this and uh, to be able to help me plan out my social media feeds. So that, my friend, is how I plan all of this out. I really hope that I explain this in a way that is understandable and I didn't confuse you, but if I did and you have questions, ask away. Ask in the comments section. You can always DM me on Instagram. I am more than happy to help. I hope that this process helps you. I hope it gives you some direction and some guidance. Don't forget to download the sheets down below. They are free. So download them, print them, use them, customize them to whatever works for you. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.